guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be doing a massive haul um, I did some damage at Ulta they were having 20% off their whole store so I went a little bit crazy I also got one thing from hsn.com and I shopped at macy's.com and got some of the Mac Toledo limited edition collection so I'm so excited and let's get started I'm gonna start with Ulta which is like <laughs> my life a little Ulta so much uh, I got a lot of things I got brushes palettes foundation blush I went crazy so the first thing that I want to show you guys is this Tarte Amazonian clay is it called Amazonian clay I think it's just the the buffer the airbrush finish bamboo foundation brush it looks like this um, I used it today to apply my foundation and oh I'm obsessed that I was looking for a brush, a foundation brush, and this had a lot of good reviews on the Ulta site. So I decided to give it a try and I'm loving this. I really am. So yeah, I can't wait to use it more and grow to love it more. The next brushes that I picked up are these bold metal Real Technique brushes. Um, if you guys watch me, you know that I always use Real Technique brushes because that's all I own and they're really affordable. But this is their higher end um, range, the higher end collection. So I picked up three of them because they were 20% off and I wanted to get all of them. Um, I just, I got three for right now. So I picked up the, con the flat contour, the tapered blush brush and the arched powder brush. I used this today to apply my powder on after my foundation and it was really smooth and I think that it applied it fairly well. Um, I'm still getting used to how they're shaped because they're not fully round, they're kind of tapered as I'm sure you guys all know now but um, I'm just really excited to keep trying these out. The next brush is this flat contour brush and I used this today and I kind of was a little confused uh i watched nick's uh tutorial on how to do how to use this and she kind of said to just place the product and then blend up and down i tried to it was a little difficult i like felt myself reaching for another brush to blend it in but hopefully with some practice i will get this down and this color is rose gold so beautiful and yeah the last brush that I got is this tapered blush brush and I think this is my favorite brush. Um, this could also be used as a contour br uh, brush. <laughs> as I was using it I felt like I could just um, blend in the contour that I already had, the bronzer. Uh, so, But I use this for blush and it placed it really beautifully. Even though like I use this huge thing right here for blush going down to this little one I was like um I don't know if I'm really gonna love it but I actually did it just blends it in so like perfectly and yeah I'm I love this already the next item I picked up is this Tarte Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in exposed and this blush I have always wanted and I always eye it when I go into Sephora or Ulta and now I have it and this just completed my blush collection not really I'm still gonna get more but <laughs> this is such a beautiful color and I can't wait to use this and just this is perfect I picked up some more blush and I got the Lorac unzip cheek palette cheek and lip it comes with a lipstick so here's the lipstick and I haven't used this yet but oh yeah I'm totally gonna love this color this is like a uh, like a soft pink oh yes no it's more of a mm, they smell good they remind me of the Milani lipsticks like the smell and the packaging a bit I mean I know Milani square but it smells really good uh, this is the color right here this is girl next door and I love pink so I'm totally gonna love that and this is the blush palette and whoo Lorac unzip cheek palette oh wow that's a strong color. I don't know if I'm really going to use that, but this color looks really pretty in this one too. And this one's very shimmery, but we'll see how I like this. So the next thing I picked up because my best friend, she's, every time she posts a Snapchat and her makeup is just like on point and I always Snapchat her back and I'm like, what do you have on your eyes? Like, what is it? I need it. Um, and she's always like, it's the Lorac Unzipped. So, oh my God, when they were having 20% off, I had to pick it up and here it is. And now I own the Lorac Unzipped. I'm so excited. Oh my God, yes. 
these colors like these like red burgundy like soft colors have been my favorite for now for now for a while and oh my god oh, look at that barely tap that and that's it's already like super pigmented okay oh my god i'm so excited to use this and welcome home <laughs> and i also picked up the lorac unzip the gold um i saw pictures of this on trend mood um i believe that's the instagram i'll put it down um they were like saying like oh my gosh there's a new unzipped palette and it's gold and oh my god it's a beautiful look at that oh my god i feel like these gold colors like they just like yell jlo at me like jlo is like known for wearing like ugh, gold and just i'm so excited like look at this I don't know why I sniffed it, but oh my god, look at that. This is so beautiful, and I just can't wait to start using it and create some looks for you guys, hopefully. And yeah, the Laura Gold. <laughs> the last thing that I picked up is Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation, and this is in the shade Bare Ivory. I got a little sample size of this when I made my purchase for my strobe of light, and it was too dark, but... You hear that? It's like all water in there. But that's the consistency of this foundation. And I really, really like it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think that's going to match me, hopefully. I'm yellow, like undertone. So this has a lot of yellow in it. And whew, so smooth. And yeah, so I'm so excited to try this out. So the next things that I bought, I got from Macy's.com. And they're just telling me, thank you for shopping with us. And you're welcome, Macy's. Like, okay, So here's everything that I got in my box. I got... Two lipsticks, uh, one in Oxblood and the other in Sin. And I also got a lip gloss in Heroin. And then I got a lip gloss in Oxblood. I forgot that I got this. And I also got this blush in Ripe Peach. Oh, Ripe Peach sounds so good. So the blush looks like this. It's a little brick blush. Oh my god, look at that package so cute oh wow it doesn't come with a mirror inside like you know how some blushes have a mirror inside but oh my god that is so beautiful oh wow i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this but that's yeah it doesn't really show up on camera but wow this is such a beautiful this is the lip gloss in Oxblood, and this shade has been selling out really fast, and oh my god. It smells, doesn't have a strong smell, but I don't really wear lip gloss, but I was like, I just need it. There it is, and packaging is adorable, like the rest of those stuff, and so excited to wear this. The next lip gloss is Heroin Lip Gloss, and I honestly don't know if I'm going to really wear this, but... I don't know we'll see I thought it was gonna be like an extremely dark purple like just BAM but it's like a pink purple almost like magenta maybe not really but yeah this is what it looks like it looks more pink on camera but it's purple um, or pink I don't know but yeah I don't know if this color really suits me the next lipstick I got is Sin, and this is part of their permanent collection, but they actually put this in this really cute packaging that everybody is obsessed with, and look at that, like, can you just, oh my god. Um, this color, I don't know, this is the color where I'm always like, yes, I need this, and it's really pretty, but it just doesn't look right on me, like, it just looks really off, like, this color will look really beautiful on my mom, but on me, it just looks... I don't know just and I love dark dark lips like this but this one it doesn't really go well with me and then I got oxblood which everybody's obsessing over like I've said and it's just like this peachy nude and it's so perfect and this is like the shade that I would absolutely wear this is a shade up here the last thing in this massive haul is this oh my god <laughs> Too Faced but better than chocolate. Natural Beauty Essentials. And it looks like this on the inside. Everything's already out, but that's what it looks like on the inside when you open it. And it came with 
a full size, I believe this is the full size eyeshadow primer. Full size better than sex mascara. A full size nude beach lipstick. And I'll swatch that right here. It's that one. Oh my god. And then it came with my one true love. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This palette, oh my god, I'm so obsessed with. And honestly, didn't think I could ever be obsessed with a palette in my life. And this is like my palette. Like, this is totally gonna make me wear eyeshadow every day because first off, it smells amazing. And I mean, everybody talks about this. Everybody's probably already had it, but I got it because they were having this whole box sale for $50. So the price, basically the price of the chocolate bar palette, and you got all of this for free. So I was like, I'm going to buy the chocolate bar palette one day. So might as well get this stuff for free. So I just went on and bought it and I love it. And... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this long haul. I know I got a ton of stuff and there's going to be more hauls in the future, believe me. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!